equation that the Jews linked up with this, and that is a thousand years are in thy sight, God, as yesterday, when it is past. Right, a day that's, for a year. A day, a, one day equals a thousand years. For a thousand years. And that's where Peter, in Second Peter, gets his equation. Yeah. A day with the Lord is like a thousand years. Right. So using that concept, they thought of six days of labor under the Jewish economy. Oh, picture 6,000 years from Adam of sin and death. Right. And the seventh day of rest would picture the thousand years of Christ's reign where mankind would be relieved from the burden of the curse, be lifted up, mm -hmm. and be able to walk back to God again. Access through that gate to the Heavenly Father and have fellowship again. Right. Okay, good. Now, uh, interestingly, um, something I hadn't noticed before a conversation we just had uh, in uh, in that same chapter of Psalm 90, it says, uh, a thousand years are as a day, or as a watch in the night. Yes. So, so talk about that. There's another uh, period of time per thousand years in that little phrase that Moses gave us. Yes, there is. And it's two levels, as it were. Uh, a single day is like a thousand years, or the parts of a day are like a thousand years. Now, in the Jewish economy, there was the morning and the evening. But there were two parts of the morning, two parts of the evening. There was the uh, lesser and the greater morning, the lesser and the greater evening. So that's four parts to the daylight hour. And then you have in the Gospels, it mentions four night watches that take you to daybreak. Okay. So if one of those night watches is equivalent to a thousand years symbolically, mm -hmm. then the four parts of the day and the four parts of the night would be eight periods of a thousand. And therefore, there are prophecies and symbols and types that link in with that level of the meaning of a thousand. And therefore, for example, back in Exodus 12:29, it says the last plague to strike the Egyptians. Well, the firstborn were passed over, and then there was divine judgment on the rest. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of a picture of the climax that we're looking forward to at the time of Armageddon. The church will be passed over, and the world of mankind will undergo a final judgment. So midnight is when that death angel struck. That would correlate to the end of 6,000 years. Four parts of the day, two parts of the night to get to midnight, 6,000 years total, take you right to the midnight of the final judgment. Hmm. In other words, there's two parts of the night um, that happen before midnight, Correct. and two parts of the night that are, happen after midnight. Correct. So you take, the, you take four parts of the day, that's 4,000 years, two more parts of the night, that's 6,000 years, midnight strikes at the end of six. 1,000 year periods, and then um, there are there's the seventh would be the the nighttime, um, the first half of the nighttime, Third the, the darkest part of the night from midnight yeah. till what 4 a.m. I suppose. Uh, three four a.m. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right, so uh, now, now I could add to that. Okay, go ahead. There's, a, there's, there's just rich depths in the scripture, and you can always find something a little deeper. But in Matthew, I think it's the 14th chapter, Jesus was coming to his disciples. They were in terrible straits. They were in turmoil. There was a storm, mm -hmm. kind of like the storm of trouble that precedes the kingdom. And Jesus calmly walks over the water to rescue them. Jesus is going to appear to rescue the church, and then... Of course, the kingdom will begin shortly after that. But the storm that introduces the kingdom is represented by that storm on the sea. There's all kinds of scriptures that kind of refer to this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know very well that Jesus very frequently healed people on the Sabbath day. Right. A little picture of the fact that Jesus is going to heal the world of mankind on the seventh millennium, on the Sabbath millennium. And he called himself the Lord of the, of the Sabbath. Sabbath. Very good point. Yeah. So that Sabbath day, that thousand years, is the time when he is in charge. He's the Lord at that point. Correct. I mean, he's the Lord now, but he essentially is the Lord to us as those who, anyone who, who recognizes him as Lord. Right. But for the rest of the world, they don't yet recognize him as Lord. Mm -hmm. So he's not their Lord in that sense. Voluntary uh, um, appreciation. 